porches and parlors district, including the McGuffey School, the Hermitage Slave Quarters, the Noah Webster House, and the Robert Frost Dome, just to name a few. So if you're leaving us here, please stay seated until the train comes with a complete stop. The engineer will give a blast with the whistle, meaning the air brake is set, and then I'll give you the go-ahead to exit on the left side over. But don't forget that wristband or ticket gets you on and off the train all day long here at the village. So again, folks, please stay seated till you hear that whistle blow. Wait for the whistle, please. And as we continue on now through our Porches and Parlors district, we're now passing the historic Susquehanna Plantation, built in 1835 in St. Mary's County, Maryland where they had 700 acres under cultivation for corn, wheat, and of course, tobacco. Now, all the way to your left, the stone building is the Cotswold Cottage, one of the oldest buildings here at Greenfield Village, built in 1620 in Chedworth, England. At the time, it was known as the Rose Cottage. And this afternoon, y'all can enjoy tea in Cotswold. They're serving tea and crumbs and maybe even sandwiches right now till 3 o'clock this afternoon. At the end of the road, on the other side of our Ferris windmill, is the Daggett Farm, a living history farm from 1754 in Andover, Connecticut. Stop and see how Samuel Daggett and the family lived and worked on the farm prior to the American Revolution. Now 
wondering, while well, that grove on the backside of our portrait of Marlins District, it's where we hope many of our special events throughout the year. And this afternoon, Walnut well, Grove comes alive with the crack of the bat and the roar of the crowd. As old time, historic baseball continues here at Greenfield Village. This afternoon, our own Lottie Dodds take on the Nationals BBC. Game time at 1.30, and they'll be playing under rules written back in 1867, which include no spitting, no cursing, and no gloves. Over on your left, that's the Henry Ford Academy. Henry Ford Academy is a charter school here in Wayne County. Students attend for free that are chosen by lottery. This portion of the campus houses the 10th, 11th, and 12th grades. Ninth graders attend class at the Henry Ford Museum. Now, just up ahead, you'll see three attached rail cars. They serve as classrooms for the senior class. Imagine that, going to class in a rail car. Just two weeks marks the return of Old Car Festival here at Greenfield Village. That's right, the weekend of September 9th and 10th. We'll have hundreds of cars here from the early days straight through the 1930s and the opening Saturday night until 9 o'clock. It all happens September 9th and 10th. The Old Car Festival right here at Greenfield Village. At the top of the hill on your left, it's a popular wedding spot. That's the Martha Mary Chapel. Named after Henry Ford's mother and mother-in-law, Martha and Mary, of course. Also on your left, two of our restaurants. The Green Building is the taste of history, featuring a special menu based on recipes from some of our historic sites. And right next door, that white building is the Eagle Tavern, built in 1832 in Clinton, Michigan offering up an authentic 1850-style dining experience, featuring waiters and waitresses in period clothing. And that brings us to our next stop of the day, and that is Smith's Creek Station. And here you have full access to the real road junction, Main Street, and the craft works. If you're leaving us here, please stay. See the turn train comes to a complete stop. The engineer will give a blast with a whistle, meaning the air brake is set. Then I'll give you the go-ahead to exit on the left side only. Wait for that whistle, everybody.
Let's do the boat party. Four. Left. Four. Thank you.